Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farm. You join me up at the hydroponics, as I'm calling it now. Got our greenhouses on the go. Uh, I'm up early. It's uh, it's now half past six. I've been up here a while. Been topping up the water to our greenhouses. If you get a little bit closer, you'll see we uh, we've now full on water. Our seeds are fine. Our solid fertilizer and manure are all very good. So these are these are gonna tick over in the background as they do. For a few more months again. We're nearly up to 300,000 litres of strawberries. The manure is getting taken in by the front ones, the back ones we come and fill ourselves manually. So that's the uh, the first job of the day done. Next up, I'm going to get this parked up and we've put in our order for a large delivery of mineral feed. So I'm going to go pick that up. We're going to get that into our dairy cows and I'm hoping there's going to be some left over to get into the beefers as well but if not that's not such a problem since they're not using the uh, the TMR robot feeder anyway at the minute so let's get this put away and head over there so here we are at the store our deliveries are all nicely stacked on so we've got a few we've got 20 20 pallets, there's 20,000 pounds worth of mineral feed on the back there, and we're going to finally take our herbicide back as well, because it's been sitting there for quite a while. But yeah, that's, uh, that's not cheap, so let's hope it does actually make a difference, and that everyone else isn't right. <laughs> it's a waste of time. We're going to try and get that into uh, the dairy, and uh, yeah, get them cows going. Last night, or this morning, ticked over 28,000 to be made from milk so they're producing more and more milk as obviously as they're getting bigger as we get more cows we get more money lovely job let's get this uh, let's get this in our lovely beef cattle over there we've got a hundred of those it doesn't look like it we've got a hundred of them and they are only uh, three months old now so uh, they, they've got a lot of growing to do. I think we've got to wait for them to get to about 36, 38 months before they're worth selling. So uh, they've got to wait. I'm going to try and do my best to pull up right next to this. Have that unload. Just like so. So we'll see how much goes in. I'm really, I've said before, I'm really not certain how much they take. Oh, I got caught on the, uh, on the actual robot housing. Let's see if I pull away. That's 100% how I do it in ETS2 as well. Go check that series out. <laughs> I think I've got a cow escaping up the front there. Do you see that? <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is uh, say 20, 20,000 litres. And by the looks of it, it's, it's going to take it all in here. How much does this hold? How much? I really don't know. But it's going to get expensive if I want to fill both. I can see that now. <laughs> right, let's turn around. All of the weight all on one side. This is not going to be an easy manoeuvre. <sighs> right, bear with me. Well, you can judge the manoeuvre by uh, <laughs> all the tyre marks on the floor. That was a good one. See if we can get all them pallets in the uh, the load point. There we go, balance ourselves out. Some weight on there. Now I think I've already got some herbicide put away somewhere, so uh, I'll find that and then we'll uh, have to crack on with the other jobs. But that clearly takes a lot more. We we'll need a lot, a lot of mineral feed. We'll see how, how long 20,000 litres last. So next up on today's plethora of jobs to do, is to set a worker to be uh, slurry spreading in the barley field that we cleared first of all. We, we got the straw off at lastly, <laughs> last episode, uh, but we need to get some slurry in there. We put manure in the in the one closest to us, but I find it easier to set up course plate doing slurry spreading, just because for some reason it, it won't let me name individual manure pits but I can name uh, the the barn so I've got dairy barn beef barn and I can range obviously for it to pick out which one is collecting the slurry from but we've got about <laughs> eight manure pits on this map 
and uh, I can't seem to get it to collect from <laughs> my manure pit with manure in. So uh, if I do it with a normal worker, they'll do it just fine. But they won't do it as precise. So we've still got that little bit of straw on here, but that is absolutely fine. It's not a problem. Let's back ourselves up. I want to make sure we get the best position because I think all the issues I've been having with course play are 100% me. So uh, we'll get this one set up and uh, then we'll get on with our job for the day. So for us, if we are uh, looking at our map, you can see we've got field four still with crop 68 and then 82, 83 combined. And they are all, if we have a look, ready to harvest. So I think we're going to get the barley and the wheat of 4 and 68 today. We'll try and get all that. The straw, I'm going to load off screen. We've done a lot of straw loading. I'll do the straw off screen at the end of the episode. And then we'll get started on the wheat in the large field. Then, depending on how well our worker gets through the uh, slurry spread, we'll probably move them on to uh, subsoiler, uh, plowing up that field as well maybe get stuck into some stone picking because we kind of have a lot of stone picking on those fields they're both heavily stone ridden look at the turn and circle that was terrible so yeah it's going to be a busy one that is why i tried to start earlier although it's already nine o'clock but these these fields that we're uh, going after today there are two smaller fields so hopefully i'll be able to get them both done nice and easy it is July so we should be able to uh, work a little bit longer into the day. Plenty of daylight for us. So uh, yeah harvest season this is a busy one and with this barley as well we'll try and get some of that let's just try and find where my entrance is we'll try and get some of that into our brewery since we are here. Thank you kind sir. <laughs> I'm not sure how much they had to uh, <laughs> to do with letting me do this, but we are doing it. Right, let's manoeuvre ourselves. Probably have to drive in a bit of our crop, but never mind. As is life. But this is um, a well managed field, if I remember rightly. I, I don't often, but if I remember rightly, this is a well looked after field and should give us a pretty decent yield. We shall see. Right, let's get that folded away. Oh, he's impatient. Though to be fair, oh, mate, hey, mate, 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 I'm still manoeuvring. Perhaps I should put my vegans on. Let people know that there's a crazy farmer on the loose. I'm going to have to abuse that bush. It's just not the room. Take out the bag of, is that a bag of seed or a bag of fertilizer? One does not remember. Right. Awesome maneuvering. <laughs> let's uh let's get started with the harvest. <laughs> Hopefully the rest of it's smoother than that was. Now I think we're still dropping swath, we are. We need to. I know it's uh, a lot of a lot of straw work, a little bit like we had a lot of grass work, we're doing a lot of straw with our harvests. We just need bedding and we need it for tear mark. It's uh, a thing that we need to do again. The rosa is uh, doing us great this year. Might even look to purchase one. I think it's a great size, good capacity. This may be a harvester that we have for the farm. We'll see, we'll see how things go financially once we get some of our sales done. Again, I would like to get one more field at the end of the harvest, or at the end of the sale of harvest, anyway. So come, probably come, thing is, because it'll be buying it come spring, we'll probably be buying a field that someone else has cropped, as it were, and planted, so uh, we'll see what's about. But I would like one more field. I'll always like one more field every year. If we get one field every year, that's that's good expansion. Now I've had a little look at my calendar because obviously I'm thinking about what we're going to plant. Obviously, the, obviously I've said it before. 
these two fields, this one and the one behind us, they're going to be barley, they're going to be repeat barley fields, we don't need to worry about crop rotation. Our small field back at the farm, that's going to go back to a grass meadow, that's going to be ploughed in with the, uh, the other large meadow once it's been cleared. Our large field back there, that's going to go to canola this time around. That's going to help with honey production. The bees will help with good canola. So that's going to go back to that. And our newest field, our other large field that's currently empty, I think we're going to go for a spring plant crop. I might go... I might go soybean or sunflowers. Something different. I don't think we've done either of them. Well, I know we've, we've not done sunflowers. Um, I don't think we've had any soybean ourselves on here. I think it's pretty much always been uh, a grain crop for wheat. So, yeah, one of those two in that field. And then if we do buy another field, we'll try and find one that has the other crop in it. So if, we, if I decide to plant soybeans we'll try and find a, uh, a field that's got sunflowers in or if we plant sunflowers we'll try and find one that's got um, beans in. It might be a smart thing to go with soybeans because we can plant that with the equipment that we already have whereas to go with sunflowers will require us to purchase or lease a planter rather than a seeder. So that might be what sway us at the time. Again it all depends on the money that we have come spring because as I say they're going to be spring crops so just, we just have to wait and see and hopefully with all the barley we got this year and the barley we'll get from these two fields next year we'll have enough to sustain us for maybe two or three years I think if we get two if two years of barley can do our production for three years that would be pretty good with a little top up for the chickens. Oh, see, I forget about the chickens, don't I? I'll keep feeding the chickens. But perhaps we need, a, we do need a third barley field, probably. A third medium sized barley field. Or wheat. Or maybe a, a, another one that's wheat, because then we can use wheat to make wheat beer and wheat to feed the chickens. I know we can feed barley chickens, but we can't obviously make wheat beer without wheat all these things that has to have to be considered to uh, get the jobbies done. So I think before we start heading down again, I'll uh, go and collect us a tractor and trailer and uh, we'll get this first, first hopper emptied. Since the chisel subsoil is on the back of the, the New Holland at the minute. We are going to do our carton with a Lambo. So if we can just weave in. Lovely job. And I think what we'll do is to get this field done. We, we've, I say we've done a fair old bit of this harvesting with this this rostal mash. I think this field we'll have a little time lapse on, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll come back have another little chat again when we uh, head over to the wheat field. to feel 
I'll work uh, had uh, finished with the Sloria, so now she's uh, jumped in the New Holland and she's getting started on the chisel work, subsoiling. We are still uh, harvesting ourselves, so uh, I'm going to jump back in there and uh, crack on with that some more. And this is the last of our barley, now heading to the silo. We only managed to get two uh, trailer worth, trailer fulls worth off the field. So it's about 30, 38, 39,000 litres, which I guess, you know, is about, it's not a big field compared to what we, uh, we harvested previously. The two previous fields were both more than twice the size, I think. But we'll get this in here and uh, we'll have a little look see at our capacities. I know I don't have to get out and do this, I can look inside the map. <laughs> I like walking to the. Uh, see when we get. It's so nearly 100,000 litres of barley. And at the rate the barley is going through in our uh, beer factory, if we have a little look, 90,000 litres is going to last us quite a while. So we've got copious amounts of strawberry, and we can only fill that up to 20,000 litres at a time. Uh, honey only goes to 9, maybe 10,000 litres by the looks of that. So next up we'll be getting some wheat in there. We're doing wheat for, for beer, wheat for chickens. And uh, seeing how it goes, it is a slow filling process. It takes a long time to make the beer, but hopefully it's going to sell for a good price. I have already brought the Rostel Masher over to the uh, to the little wheat field. Uh, it's now it's half past three, so we should have plenty of time to get this tiny field done. And uh, approaching here, doesn't that look so different now? Now that it's just open. And we're going to get that turned into uh, grass, so this will all just be one big meadow reaching round. You know, I said I wouldn't combine the two, but you know, it's pretty tempting to just, since I'm going to dig that out, it's pretty tempting to make one massive meadow. I don't know. You let me know. We won't do it this year if I do do it. But let me know what you think. Do we do one big meadow, or do I keep it as uh, two meadows? Anyway, let's jump in the rosa through the opposite window, and... Uh, Get this start. I think I've turned my swath back on. I turned the swath off just for the collecting up the last little dregs from where it's sort of you know out of, out of formation for a row, for a windrow of or a swath, sorry, of uh, straw. But yeah, I don't think this one's going to take long at all. I'll be surprised if we get a full trailer of wheat maybe just over off this one uh, our other fields we're going to get a lot off there's going to be a, a lot of unloading we may even use the uh, the little Fiat truck because it's got the uh, the large trailer on the back twice the capacity I believe it was so that may uh, that may get used on the big fields not big on pulling trucks onto uh, fields especially ones that are as underpowered as that but we'll see We'll see how the uh, the time of the job goes, but that's a tomorrow job. And like I say, I'll uh, probably get all this straw in, or at least the straw in off the other barley field off screen, and uh, put that in the. Uh, well, I'll top up a bit of bedding in both, and then I'll load it up into the uh, feeder on the uh, on the beefers, because there is plenty the dairy cows. I want to try and get both nice and full. You know, in one sense, like I said a few episodes back, you don't tend to have to worry about them once they're all set up. The cows now, they're sort of ticking over in the background, don't have a lot to do with it. And sometimes it's a shame because we're not seeing them. But it's nice to know that they're ticking over and everything's fine. And that affords us the time to concentrate on doing the fields, get things ready and, you know, making more money. With them in the background doing their thing, I think that's that's, that's nice. If we had to, uh, I don't know, start every episode loading five or six bales in every time, that might that might get a little bit tedious, I don't know. We, we, you know, we still have to load bales in every now and then. But when we do our big harvests and our big grass work, we uh, we load up the feeder and make sure it's good for at least six straight months. Give it a top up next time and then uh, load it again. Now that the trees aren't there, this 
fields, fields are absolutely tiny. Opening it up has really shown how small it was. I think we're getting a pretty good yield off it for the wheat. It's, uh, we're filling up quicker than I thought, which is always nice. Oh, found a bit of tree that I missed. <laughs> Let's see if we can chop that. There's probably more than one, without a doubt. There we go. There's another one here. But it's, uh, there we go, it's gone. I knew there were a few in there. But yeah, I think it's, uh, it's going to look good. Now, if we do decide to extend, that does mean a lot more tree work. And I'm going to have to find a uh, chipper that does <laughs> does it a bit better. Maybe by then there'll be uh, something else. I'm sure there are a few more chippers available. I'll just have to have a look. Because I don't do a lot of uh, forestry work, I don't tend to worry about looking in, even in that section, or paying much attention when forestry mods uh, turn up, to be honest. Like I say, one day, one day we'll do a forestry one. Recently there was a tiny little forestry map turn up, uh, like a little island, so maybe that's, that's more me. <laughs> Mini forestry. I think for the uh, convenience of this one, we'll pretty much just keep going around it. I think, I don't know, maybe just do this other headland and then go up and down. There, there's enough room. Even if we start heading up now, the pipe's going to be on the outside, so convenience is still there. We love convenience. Anyway, I don't think I said it today, and I don't think I said it yesterday, if I did not last time out, so I do apologise. I hope you're all well, uh, enjoying your farming, enjoying your trucking, enjoying your games, doing your thing. I think it's all gone relatively smooth at this end, for a day or two, we take that, we take that as a big win, if things go smooth for a couple of days, on uh, the Mr Farquhar channel. Alright, let's... Uh, We'll get the truck, we'll run for our wheat. It's nice to run for your crops every now and then. But yeah, things are, things are on the up, things are going well. I've managed to get a bit of time in to uh, start work on the new series. It's going to be coming uh, after the last Ute Bay. Probably going to give it a week for launching the new one. Just because the way that I'm doing it, these episodes are taking a long time to record. I do it in one go, so it's a one long recording how I'm doing them. And then obviously there's a lot of footage to edit, so it takes quite a while. So I'm just trying to give myself a little buffer on the schedule so I can get a few of them up. And not be overly pressurised on it. But hopefully uh, hopefully it's going to be worth the extra effort and time that's uh, going into doing this series. So enjoying doing it so far so what I've done anyway <laughs> so yeah it may it may uh, it may change I'm already feeling that there's going to be need to be changes in the uh, in the setup and how it's running and I'm only, only a few episodes in but we'll see we'll see what you guys think and uh, I'll, uh, I'll react to uh, your suggestions on how that series goes as well but yeah and then I've got another plan for something else that once that one's established and going well and <laughs> providing everything stays running smooth, we'll get started on another series ready to launch maybe at a later date. Lots, uh, lots of things, lots of things going on and all farm related for those that are here for all the farming. The other things will obviously keep going. I'm, I'm doing well, juggling and managing my time. So... While that, while that stays, that's what we'll keep doing. You know, when, uh, if and when the time comes, especially, uh, I hate to say it, it's so early, but as the uh, the holiday seasons will fastly approach upon us, you know, family commitments and stuff, times may change, and we may see changes in the schedule, but I'm sure everyone will manage with that. Everyone understands, always, should always be family first.
this is going well. I think what we'll do is I'll keep harvesting through this and uh, I'll bring you guys in at the end so you can see how much wheat we get in off this field. Our worker is still uh, chugging along doing their cultivating. So, uh, yeah, I'll get this in and uh, I'll see you guys in just a second. Well, this is our last bit of wheat coming in. We had one full trailer load already. So uh, we got a little bit more than I uh, first anticipated. Like I say, that's never a bad thing. But I think that gives us... 25,000, 26,000 litres. So it's not too bad. Didn't realise I'd left the uh, <laughs> trailer so far away as I came speeding in. Right. So we'll get this unloaded. We'll get this into the silo. We'll check the silo. We'll check our workers, see how they're getting on with the uh, subsoiling of our field. It's been a, it's been a long day, considering I probably started around about 6 o'clock. Filling up the water. Way back when for me, that feels. Way back when doing the water, up at the greenhouses. But this, uh, we have to have to do longer days to get the work in. I mean, you know, I'm going to keep working. We're going to get the straw in off the other fields. Oh. I'm going to leave this one, I'm going to do this one and the other one as uh, bales. I think that'll be uh, that'll be fine. But I'll get that straw in uh, off screen. So I'll be going for another few more hours yet. Work until uh, till, till dusk, no doubt. Although I should imagine at 7 o'clock it's going to start turning anyway. We'll uh, keep going, I'll just do it till it's done. And tomorrow we tackle the big field. The big boy. I haven't run any of this wheat down to the brewery yet. I'll save that for another day. That's, it's plenty busy down there. We can get that down another day. And I'm not sure which of the uh, the ales actually sells best, or whether they're all sort of roughly the same, I should imagine. But once that's in, we'll have a little look. And as you can see, 25,000, nearly 26,000 litres of wheat and 91,000 litres of barley. Uh, when we do a rundown, we'll uh, top up the chickens as well, because they'll probably be do some feed soon as well. But yeah, none of those prices really matter, because none of this is for sale. And checking in with our lady and the uh, the subsoiler, she's cracking on nicely. We have got a monster field of stones. So while we're harvesting our other field, I think we're going to have to get someone out stone picking for us. Get working on that. That's going to be a, a fun job for them. And uh, we'll, I may even have two because I'll have that one cleared. So I'll have probably even have someone slurry in that one, someone stone picking the other two. We'll get on with the harvest and uh, we'll take workers around. It's getting busy. We are we are planning to get two, possibly three workers, and I'm going to be working. That's great. I love that we've reached that stage. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, give it a bit a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos going live, and as always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.